Thank you. Thanks, Ian. Uh, good afternoon. I'm going to dive straight in uh, and start with the C word and talk to you about commercial. Why? Because we need to talk about the money and we need to talk in particular about advertising revenue. We have been selling the wrong thing and for too long and we need to change that and fast. And I can only do that with your help, uh, with your support. So why have we been selling the wrong thing? Because as an industry, we have been selling our advertising space and not our journalism. It has lost us about a billion pounds of ad revenue over the last decade. One billion pounds less at a time when we really need it. But now we have a perfect window to change that. A window to start getting the investment back into journalism. Why? Because we're at a critical crossroads for the news industry. News readership is at record levels. 44 million people read news journalism across newspapers and digital devices every week. 44 million is about four to five million more readers than a decade ago. That's 10% audience growth. And more importantly, 44 million is the same weekly reach as Google. And that surprises many people. Why? Because no one in our industry ever talks about total readership. The story that's dominated over the last 10 years has been one about declining newspaper circulations. Newspapers are important. 11 million people read a national newspaper every day but 19 million people are reading our journalism online. That's around two thirds of our audience. It's where the growth in readership is coming from and that's where it will continue to come from. Two million more people are reading digital journalism online every day compared to a year ago. So two million more every day compared to a year ago. All of these are record numbers, uh, and so record numbers reading the news. So readers are following us, and they're following our journalism as we transition online. Now, in any other sector, that kind of growth would be celebrated, it would be brilliantly packaged up and sold, and told repeatedly to advertisers who play a huge part in funding our industry. So why do we have a window of opportunity right now? Because demand for trusted sources of news and information is soaring. The perception of the news industry is changing. Trust is on the rise. According to our research at Newsworks, 69% of people say they, they trust their chosen news brand. Edelman's trust barometer shows people's trust in established news brands has grown from 48% in 2017 to 60% this year. Compare that to social media, where trust languages at 29%. Six out of 10 people say they rely more heavily on established news brands since the rise of fake news. Hardly surprising when you consider the alleged meddling by Russia into our democratic processes, the proliferation of fake news and the spread of misinformation, Google's track record on brand safety and the ad revenue they have mistakenly generated from jihadi videos. With the general election exactly a month away, Facebook's stance on political ads brings these problems back into focus. Recently, I heard three senior journalists explain why it's both a great time to be a journalist and a critical time for journalism. People are looking for depth. They are demanding more analysis, news and information from the experts they can trust. Journalism matters now more than ever. So where does that leave us? 
on all the metrics that matter to advertisers, growth, trust, and demand, we are in great shape. But, and that's a big billion pound but, for all this growth, the money is not coming our way. According to the forecasts, online ad revenue is set to rise by 5% this year. While mildly encouraging, it is far from enough. So why isn't the money coming faster? And why isn't it reflecting the audience growth? The answer is simple. Digital advertising is broken. It is dominated by an open marketplace in which content has been sold as one amorphous mass. There is little attention to the quality of the content or the attention of the audience. In fact, the word content has been hijacked by the bullshitters, the propagandists, the fakers and the like. Quality journalism is being lumped together with this content and sold to advertisers. Those advertisers now found themselves in a bonkers situation where they're no longer sure where their advertising is being shown, nor are they sure if it's even being seen by a human. Unsurprisingly, trust in advertising has slumped to an all-time low, from 50% to 25% according to the Ad Association. So why aren't things changing? Well, they are. Thankfully, the advertisers, the regulators, and the politicians are beginning to wake up to all of this. But it is slow. And the stranglehold the tech platforms have on the digital advertising market is tight. However, the digital world is shifting on its axis. And the next phase of digital is looking significantly brighter for publishers. Every piece of evidence shows that concentrating digital spend into quality journalistic environments delivers. And more and more advertisers are ready to listen. So why do I need your help? Because we have to take advantage of this shift. We can't sit here and expect everything to fall into our laps. We can't let this opportunity pass by. We are the greatest storytellers, but we haven't always been great at telling our own story. We need to change it and fast. We must learn to tell one unified industry story more powerfully, more consistently, and more frequently. I'm committed to being a figurehead for this, uh, and next week I am off to the United Nations to talk about the digital advertising market and the many challenges I've outlined here today. I'm going to make more noise in more places to help turn the tide in our direction. So if I could ask one thing from all of you, it would be to give our industry the oxygen of publicity it deserves to get our side of the story out there. In the coming weeks, I'll be in touch to talk about how you can help build this movement. Why? because journalism matters and we want the billion pounds back. Thank you.